Gwen Blue here at Particle Measuring Systems. Today's conversation is a case study partnership between PMS, our distributor, EMS, and OSTAR. And I'm speaking with the OSTAR team in regards to the viable and non-viable PMS solutions they implemented as part of their OEM sterility test isolator workstation. Julie, Daryl, Paul, and Tim, thank you for making the time. How is everyone today? Very well, good, thank you. Yeah. Very well, thank you very much. Very well, thank you. Cheers. (laughs) Wonderful. Julie, I will start with you. You are the Operations Support Administrator at OSTAR in the UK. Can you tell us about OSTAR? Yeah, I'd like to, Blue. It's um, the OSTAR group was founded in 1991 in Hong Kong and our headquarters are based in Beijing. The OSTAR group is a leading technology-based pharmaceutical engineering solution provider with comprehensive knowledge and experience in life science process technology, applications, industry regulatory rules and practices. Uh, We take pride in being able to help clients and address issues in quality, compliance and operational excellence and are dedicated in providing equipment, engineering service and turnkey solutions. Thank you, Julie. Uh, my next question is for Daryl. Daryl, you're the you are the business development manager at OSTAR. Can you please also give us an introduction of OSTAR? Sure. OSTAR UK, uh, our subsidiary of the of the main OSTAR group, uh, established in in March 2020, and based in Huddersfield over here in the UK. We are dedicated to providing equipment, service, and support to the global pharmaceutical, biotech, and chemical industries. So OSTAR UK, uh, we design, manufacture and support aseptic and containment solutions such as filling line isolators, downflow booms, sterility test isolators to suit all applications. Fantastic. Thank you, Daryl. My next question is for Paul. Paul, you are the director at OSTAR out of the UK office. Um, Can you tell us about what a sterility test isolator workstation is? I certainly can, yes, Blue. The sterility testing of a sterile pharmaceutical product is a regulatory quality control requirement to determine acceptability of a product or production batch. An essential element of sterility testing is that it must be performed in a manner which avoids the risk of any false results. Now, to avoid the risk of false results and to protect the product, it is common practice to carry out testing within a controlled aseptic environment. The All-Star STIW ensures a separative barrier between the product and the operator whilst providing a grade A A positive pressure environment to carry out the testing within. Fantastic. So what was the EMS PMS contamination monitoring solutions you implemented? Well, following technical discussions with EMS, the final solution we purchased was a LASER 3 for monitoring the non viable particles. And for viable air sampling, we purchased a mini-capped mobile complete with a biocapped impact ahead. And to complete the whole package, we included the isokinetic probe and all the required tubing. Great. So what is the contamination monitoring equipment requirement for that? Well, it's for monitoring of viable and non-viable particles, therefore to ensure the classified environment with the STIW had not been compromised during the sterility testing process. Got it. So finally, why PMS and EMS? Well, on this particular project, PMS equipment was specified by the client. The reason being because they already have PMS equipment on site, therefore they already have the knowledge on how to operate the equipment. So complying with the client's request did not present a challenge to Orstar UK because several of our our employees, including myself, have a long-standing working relationship with EMS and had full confidence to move forward and to fulfill our client's requirements with the knowledge that EMS would be able to provide the technical support that we required. Great. Thank you, Paul. Lastly, (laughs) Lastly, I'm speaking with Tim. Tim, you are the product development engineer at OSTAR. Um, Can you tell us about what type of technical support was required during that time? Sure, yeah. So because the inner surfaces of the STIW are biodecontaminated using vaporized hydrogen peroxide, in order for us to do the same to the lines between the isolator and the contamination monitoring devices, we've installed a VHP loop using three port valves. This draws the VHP through the lines to a local exhaust point, providing protection to the PMS instruments. PMS's local distributor, EMS, had the expertise we needed 
Andy Worsick gave fantastic support for this system at the design stage and throughout. He assisted with the VHP loop setup and also selection of the isokinetic nozzle. We also had to include some functionality of the PMS devices for the validation of the STIW. EMS provided some step-by-step -step procedures which we could easily integrate into our documents. Fantastic. Thank you all so much for your time today. It was an honor speaking with everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>